Hello folks and welcome. Linux Mint 21.3 Cinnamon. Actually you can use that on pretty much all the Linux Mint products. Uh, Linux Mint 22 LMDE6. Um, we're making uh, actual icons, uh, web-based icons, to do useful things. Now I tried to look for Google Translate in the software manager and that wasn't there. And uh, I tried to look to see if Google Translate is an application you can download. Well, you can if you have a smartphone, but not a computer, like Linux. So I said to myself, well, why don't I just use the web engine and also just create my own icon? And that's what I did here. And what I'm doing here is translating. So if I see something like that, I can copy this and open this icon. It's using Google Translate and paste that. And then I can now, uh, I'll make that a little bit smaller. We can also go full screen if you like, but uh, that's a long one. Uh, but in either case, it's just using Mozilla Firefox. And all I did was make an icon out of it. We can certainly use bookmarks and I'll, you know, that, that I think most of us can figure out. But sometimes these are convenient and you just need to have an internet connection. All right, so I'm going to um, just move on here. So uh, filming in 1080, adjust your YouTube player accordingly if necessary. Um, again, I'm filming today on 21.3. Again, you can use that, I think, on any of the Linux Mint products. Um, if you uh, see the logo with the person with the yellow brackets, uh, hit subscribe. If you don't see that, you're watching that on someone else's channel. All of my videos have the subscription logo with timelines on them. I'll just say, if you don't, find me on YouTube. All right, so how do we do this kind of stuff? Well, it's a tool that has been here for a while. You may have overlooked it. It's called Web Apps, and I do have other videos on this, and I made a shortcut of it here. So I just have the one. I have shown how to do this uh, not only with websites, but also your home router. That's a non-internet thing. I have those videos. Um, I think there's two or three that I've done on that. But uh, how do we do this? Well, we start with the plus key. We need uh, a couple of pieces of information to plug into here. And one of them is the actual website. So I'm going to click that because I made a link of it. And at the same time, highlight the line. So just do a search for Google Translate. Okay and you can copy the link. And you can certainly make a link. I'm not advocating that this is any less um, than the icon because you can do both. I'm just showing you how you can do this on any website for that matter. Okay, so I'm gonna paste that. That's the standard icon. So uh, we're just gonna call that, what, what did I call the last one? G translate, well, we'll just type the whole thing. Um, you can put whatever name you want to. You can call it GT if you like. All right, so during the holidays, I think Google actually makes some colorful icons. This is one of them. So I will use that temporarily. So it's going to initially place this icon in the web category. That would be here. And you can see my other one is there. And um, I got a couple of different browsers, so I'm just going to use Firefox. Navigation bar I'm fond of, and I'm done. Uh, you don't have to run the tool from here. Well, it is done in here. So basically go find the web category and uh, you can right click at the panel desktop or favorites. Uh, if you want to drag uh, only to these two locations, then you can go ahead and do that. Otherwise, you'll have to right click if you want it on your desktop. So I will do it this way, just to be different. And this, when you open this up, you first get the privacy notice. So get rid of that mess. Uh, you can resize the box. There'll be a couple of more annoying things that'll happen here in a second. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I think there's one more with the Firefox pop-up. Let me see if he comes up, the little fox. Yeah, there he is. All right, done. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> one more time to test it. There we go. So again, you can hand type uh, what you're looking for in here. Um, so to give you an example of that, I'll do it from English. 
to my native language. And uh, my name is, or there's another way of, of putting it. And you can see it's quite different from English. Oops, what is your name? So yeah, quite a bit of difference in uh, that. All right, so if you decide to change the icon on any one of these things that are web-based, um, we can go and open the tool back up, grab a hold of that thing and hit the pencil. If you like this icon, just hit OK. Now it's been converted, but it hasn't been converted on your panel. It's been converted in here though. These are different. One says G translate, the other one is Google translate. You'll see that caption in here. So not to confuse you, I'll pull that out of there. Okay, we'll leave that on here on the panel. So how do you update the one on the panel if you updated the icon? Well, you generally just log in and out. Is that a waste of time? Absolutely. Right click, troubleshoot, restart cinnamon. That's one way. Okay, I will get rid of uh, this one. I'll unpin it. So I'll go back in here and play with it some more. So uh, we're dealing with Google Translate and I will hit the pencil and then hit down. So that was a square icon. Here's a round one. Okay, I'm going to hit OK. So I've updated the icon. If you had it over here, it should have been updated. So I will throw that over here. And to update it on the panel, I can also use Alt and F2 if the F2 hasn't been reassigned. Some laptops reassign them. Small R, enter. Now I got the round icon. But what if I wanted to download, um, let's say, I'll open up a different tab, the icon itself. Okay, oh, sorry, Google. Translate. Um, um, let me do this one more time. Um, okay, let's just do a new tab. I forgot the word icon. Sorry. Anyways, you can click these and actually download them. And you can go and save those. Cop uh, save the image or copy the image. Uh, anyways, it'll go to your download folder and then you can transfer it into something. So generally, you don't have hidden showing. You have your standard folders, and uh, you would your icon would be in your download folder waiting for you to do something with it. And believe it or not, I have a hidden folder in here. So if you uh, right-click and create a folder with a dot in front of it, it becomes hidden. So Control-H to view that folder. Mine is called Period Icons 2, which is a hidden folder. And I have all kinds of goofy icons in here. And one of them I dumped the, um, yeah, you can see the Darth Vader ones. And uh, anyways, uh, Google Translate is right there. Uh, it's uh, a PNG ending image and is quite small actually. It's 120 kilobytes. So if you want the official icon, you can do stuff like that. Okay, so Frank is our user for today, but more importantly, you can put it into a regular folder or a hidden one. Control H, now you don't see it. Why did I hide it? I just, um, it's a lot, it's one of those where if you are the type of person that deletes a lot of things, um, there's less chance of deletions. But you can certainly just make a standard folder for it. That's not a problem. Or you just don't use the icon at all. You can just use the generic one. So I'm just gonna let you see that this is still holding that old icon. And I'm going to reconvert that one more time. This time with the original icon and that's done with go find something. Keep in mind you can also choose anything off the system and I will go find that folder. Now generally that does not show so I'm going to use Control H to let you see it's blank and then I use Control H to put that in view. Okay, The text files are not going to be here because that's not an icon. All right, now I can go find that in this under the G's. So somewhere down that big mess of stuff. And keep in mind, these are my icons. 
All right, this is something you don't have. So Google Translate is right there. Again, you can download this yourself and put it in whatever folder you want. And then just go find that folder, find the icon and select it and just do the update. That one's been fixed. This one is not. Well, easiest is right click, troubleshoot, restart cinnamon. You're not rebooting anything. You're restarting cinnamon. A lot of times you may have noticed your updater. It'll say it's restarting cinnamon. That's the same thing. It's better than logging in and logging out. And then again, these are just silly little things that you can do. And uh, whenever you run into a different language, uh, let's try something different. Let me try it. Let's see what's in cheese. And let me see if I can. Here's another one. I don't know what that says, so let's go find out what and what kind of language that's in. Okay, I will just do that. It looks like Hungarian. Standard tricks apply. Hold down your control key and scroll with your computer mouse if you have one. Or if it's a touchpad, then I think it's hold down the control key with two fingers and slide them up and down on your touchpad. Uh, it's kind of rough though, that's why I don't like touchpads. But you should be able to double click or just use the little generic icon if you like. It operates just like a standard web browser. And uh, more importantly, this is just one convenient way to go translate. Here's another one. One right below it. So I can quickly just go through these really quick to see what they say. So I'm reading this in English. You can convert that to another language if you like. So we can just do that. If you speak Icelandic, uh, anyways. So to get rid of them, you just hit the minus. Okay, so which one am I using? Google Translate. So I want to get rid of that one. Are you sure? Yes, it's gone. Okay, so if you had it as an icon, it would have been removed. If you had it on your panel, when you click it, it probably won't function anymore and you would have to just unpin it. I think the same thing is if you put the icon on the desktop. When you put the icons on the desktop, it's right click and add. Otherwise, it's uh, if you try to drag, if you've ever done this, it, it uh, used to produce a little, um, a little blank. And uh, anyways, so they've updated that. So in the past, this used to just leave a square here. And then you ended up, I would end up restarting Cinnamon, but it's not doing that anymore. So there has been an update to Linux Mint 21.3. But in either case, making web-based icons is as silly as that. You can also certainly just bookmark it. Okay, so I'll use Alt and F4 to close that box and say, or have the Icelandic puffin say goodbye. Thank you for watching.